Take those invisible scissors that I placed on the seat right next to you. And girls, I'm going to have you cut the rope in this hand. Don't cut my hand. Boys, I'm going to have you cut the rope in this hand. Don't cut my hand. Only aim for the rope. I'm going to count to three, and I want you to cut that rope. One, two, three. Very nicely done. Ta-da! You were cool. Ta-da! Now that wasn't the whole trick. And of course you know that this rope was already cut, don't you? Some of you are going, Whoa! Wow! Did you see that? Whoa! I promise, Brother Joe, I will only use it for good. I will never use these to hurt people or animals, right? <laughs> no, you didn't cut it. It was just what I wanted to do. Yeah, could you could do it again to put it together? I, I wish we could. But I wanted to demonstrate something for you using this rope. This rope represents your life. And just like that flower that we saw earlier, people try to cover up the fact that their life is broken. Now you know that this rope is three pieces, don't you? You didn't at first. But now you're looking at it and you're saying, wait a minute. You're just covering up the breaks. Guys and girls, that's what people do. When they know their life is broken, they try to cover up the fact that things aren't the way they should be. And they, what they do is they try to make people think their life is put together by being a good person or going to church or whatever it is. But really, the life is broken. So here's what they do. They say, well, you know what? I know my life is broken, but I'm going to try to put it together with money. Or I'm going to put it together with fun. Nothing but fun. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have so much fun. And look at my life. Ta-da! It is completely put together. Is that life put together? No. Is it totally put together? No. Now what if the, uh, what if the money runs out? And you were counting on money to hold your life together. Then it loses. It comes apart, doesn't it? If you were counting on that kind of thing to hold your life together or just having nothing but fun, if that's what you were counting on and the fun stops, it it's all falls apart again, doesn't it? And it's sad, but there are so many people who say, you know what, I don't care. I'm just going to keep trying to put my life together like that. I'm going to just put my life together like this. I'm going to hold it together, and you know what I'm going to do? I don't care that I put it together on my own. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hide it from everybody. <coughs> look at that. Hey, everybody, look at my life. Look at that nice looking light. Da -da. Look at that. Woo, I can spin both ends. Da -da 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 -da. Look at my life. It's all put together. But is this life put together? No. No. It's all tied together. And you know as well as I do, when a life is just tied together with artificial stuff, it's not going to hold. Because your life is not connected. You can't do anything to connect your life. Let me get one of you girls to come up here and help me. Yes, man, right here on the end. Would you help me do this? Tell me your name again. Candy, come stand right here. Everybody say, hey, Candy. Hey, hey Candy. Candy, Candy I'm going to have you hold on to that rope. And I'm going to bring this little bag out here. Now, this little red bag is going to represent something, all right? This little red bag is going to represent the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, this little bag represents the blood of Jesus. Now, God knows that your life is broken. You know that your life is broken. God knows you can't put your life together on your own. And so He had one plan for your life to be put together. And that plan was, my son Jesus comes to earth he dies on a cross, he's buried in the tomb, he's raised from the dead, so that hell and death and the grave can be defeated. And that you can have a relationship with me again. And so, what Candy does is she, she says, you know what, I've come to the end of my rope. I can't do it on my own anymore. I'm going to give my life to Jesus. And she prays, she says, Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I can't save myself. Would you come into my life and save me? And guys and girls, what Jesus does for us is an amazing thing. Prepare to be amazed. Hang on. With, with the fair, hang on to that real quick. Okay. Well, what Jesus does is He comes in and He takes control of your life and He puts it together the way it was supposed to be, doesn't He? Hang on to that end. Give it a little pull. What Jesus does, guys and girls, He comes into your life and He puts it together the way it was supposed to be. And He says, you know what? You don't need that artificial stuff. You can't, you can't 
buy your way into heaven. You can't act your way into heaven. He says, get rid of that. Give your life to me, and I will take control. I will make your life everything that you wanted it to be. And it's not by what you do. It's because of what Jesus did on the cross. He paid the price for our sins so that we could be